Hello everyone, my name is Akshay and welcome back to my channel TechBinder. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can have this dual boot option onto your laptop. It's very easy and simple process. Just follow the steps and you can have this dual boot option onto your laptop. So without any further ado, let's get started in this video. So first thing first, if you are having the laptop in which the windows is pre-installed, all you need to do is that go and turn off the BitLocker. Search for the manage BitLocker option on your start menu and then you can disable the BitLocker. Click on the turn off BitLocker, it will turn off and this process is gonna take time depending upon your hard drive capacity or SSD capacity. Once it's done, we can move to the next step. So all you need to do is that you need to go to your BIOS. What you need to do is that you need to turn off your system and press and hold the F2 key once it's restart. Well, the BIOS key is F2 for Dell. Well, if you're using Acer, Asus or any other laptop, it would be a different key. Just go and search it online. Once you're in the boot menu, go to system configuration, set the SATA operation to ACI if you're having radon. Now next move on to the security. Now you need to disable the TPM security. This TPM security stores your BitLocker keys and all. So if it is turned on, still you cannot have the dual boot setup. Next you need to go to the secure boot and disable this. And once you've done all these three steps, all you need to do is that click on the apply and save these settings. Next, what you need to have a bootable pen drive in which you are having your Ubuntu. So there are multiple videos I've done on how to make a bootable pen drive. Just click on this I button or card button and you can get. So next step, you need to press the power button and press and hold the F12 key on your Dell laptop. You will be in the UFI boot option. Just select the pen drive, whichever you are having and boom, you will be in the Linux option. Now you need to install the Ubuntu just click on the install Ubuntu. So here I'm going to install 18.043 LTS version. If you're going to install 16, you can also do with the same process. Now, if you want, you can connect to your wireless network. I don't want it right now and I'm not going to connect it. Normal installation and then you can hit the third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi card. So here we are having an Nvidia graphics card and we want to have the drivers for that too. So we're going to select this third party and we'll move to the next option. Now there are a couple of options will be displayed here. If you want, you can install the Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. And if this option is not coming, you have done something wrong because if you have done everything right, definitely this option will gonna come. And if you want, you can even erase the whole disk and install the Ubuntu. Well, if you want to have single operating system, well, you can do that. I'm not gonna recommend that right now. Now here, what you can do is that you can choose the partition uh, size which you want right now I um, think I will be good with 207 GB and rest of the partition will be accessed by the windows well here it will show a pop-up message just go and continue and it, it is going to say that the changes are irreversible once you make it uh, the changes will be made to the disk and that would be permanent so now you can install the Ubuntu uh, as a normal Ubuntu system now you can install the Ubuntu with normal procedure and once you are good to go you can find this pop-up again this shows that if you want to turn off you can just restart it and if you want to do some kind of testing you can continue with that okay boom we are done that and now let's see here whether we have uh, access to our one to or not okay hitting the enter button right now and you can see the, all the options available right now so you can even go to windows as well as one two now once we are done that now we need to install a little bit of system software now we need to install with the update so type sudo apt get update and once you're done with that now install sudo apt get upgrade once you're done this both you are ready and good to go if you're having an nvidia or any other driver you're going to install that driver it depends upon your system there will be a number of videos will show how to install the nvidia drivers so i'm not going to cover this in this video okay now it's time to have the windows boom here you are going to have this trouble and source that inaccessible boot device so right now it's not knowing the location of the boot drive and also the boot drive is not accessible because we have changed the SATA partition so what you need to do is that you need to install your windows once again but this time you do not require any bootable pen drive or anything else it will just gonna install like a fresh copy of windows which is automatically installed in your system either you can 
restart and go to the windows option a couple of times until and unless it shows that it's diagnosing your pc and it will pop up automatic repair option or you can hit shift or f11 while restarting and definitely you can have this recovery mode option now what you need to do is that click on advanced options to install the windows and once you have done that you can go to reset this pc there are two options available keeping files and removing everything and starting fresh copy i would highly recommend you go and install the fresh copy because it would be easy just give a full clean system install and it would be pretty much better than and i would also recommend that you do not store any data at that time of installing this dual boot option so just back up your data all important data and then you can give a clean install it will take some of the time to reset your pc and once you are done that it will install the windows so once you configure that you will find that you will be in the windows desktop now i'm going to turn it off and will show you that you can even boot your ubuntu so it's pretty easy way and with this method you can have both your windows as well as your ubuntu side by side thank you for watching if this content was helpful to you please hit the like button and if you're not subscribed my channel till yet click on the subscribe button now if you're having any query or suggestion Definitely you can drop it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and catch you in the next video.